Not every engineer is capable of establishing their own company. Some, like Fran Quittle, the inventor of the turbojet, have a hard time finding investors and dealing with official indifference. Others, like Willy Messerschmitt, create a company only for it to be eventually consumed by a much larger enterprise. When it comes to Marcel Dassault and his company, though, the story is very different. Dassault Aviation, founded in 1929, is still very much in business. It made piston-engined aircraft in pre-war France, produced the legendary Mirage jets, and is still a major player in the world of French aircraft manufacturing. After the First World War was over, the French military lost most of its interest in aviation, but their interest was rekindled in 1928, when the government established the French Air Ministry. Not long after that, Marcel Dassault, born Marcel Ferdinand Bloch, founded the aircraft company Société des Avions Marcel Bloch, which produced several fighters and bombers that were employed by the French military by the start of the Second World War. Their MB-152, created as a counter to the BF-109, was one of the best fighter designs available to the French at the time. And they also made the MB-157, an even more advanced, even faster design that was, unfortunately, only completed during the Vichy era. The team at Société des Avions Marcel Bloch was also responsible for creating the MB-162 long-range bomber and the MB-175 light bomber. The latter was a modified reconnaissance bomber that remained in service even after the war. During the occupation of France by Nazi Germany, Marcel Bloch refused to collaborate with the Vichy government and was sent to the Buchenwald concentration camp. After his homeland was finally liberated, Marcel changed his name from Bloch to Dassault. This was the nom de guerre originally used by his brother, Darius Paul Bloch, when he served in the French resistance and is derived from Char d'Assault, French for assault tank. It was Marcel's way of honoring his brother's memory. After the end of the war, the French aviation industry was in a shambles. Despite his declining health, Marcel Dassault went straight back to business. He reorganized the company, gave it a new name, Dassault Aviation, and started working on new designs. As early as 1952, France had its first domestically produced jet fighter, the Dassault Ouragon. Designing and making this aircraft proved to be a challenge, to say the least, and some concessions had to be made. The French had to use the British Rolls-Royce Nene turbojet engine instead of their own, and the new aircraft had a conventional straight-wing design. It was armed with four Hispano cannons, which was pretty good at the time. But the aircraft flew pretty much like the earliest jet fighters, the ME-262 or the Shooting Star. It's worth mentioning that after a few years in service, four Uragon were modified for rough field operation. Those experimental models were called FNLM. The company wasn't quite satisfied with just that. The French had bigger plans. In 1954, French pilots got their first Dassault Mystère 2 Cs, basically a radically improved Ouragon, incorporating the experience accumulated by German engineers at Mauser and BMW. The straight wing was ditched in favor of a new swept one. The aircraft received 30mm DEFA cannons and was finally fitted with a domestically produced engine. There was also the 2A variant, powered by the Rolls-Royce Tay and armed with guns originally used on the Uragan. But in the end, the French decided to go with their more advanced new French hardware.
The last mystère to see the light of day was the B-2 fighter bomber, also known as the Super Mystère. That was the first ever European supersonic aircraft to enter mass production. Thanks to a powerful afterburner-equipped turbojet engine and a new thin wing with 45 degrees of sweep, this new Mystère had amazing performance. Furthermore, it was equipped with Sidewinder missiles. Basically, it was ready for everything. That obviously wasn't enough for Marcel Dassault. In 1961, not one, but two new cool Dassault aircraft entered service in France. The Etendant 4M, oh sorry guys, the standard 4M, a carrier-based ground attack aircraft, and the Mirage 3C, a second-generation fighter jet. The former was known for having lots of great weapon choices, and the latter was fitted with excellent radio-electronic equipment. Both designs proved to be extremely successful, remaining in service right until the very end of the 20th century. The Mirage 3E is probably the most popular Mirage model. Unlike the first production models, it was a true multi-role variant, making use of a new radar, an upgraded engine, and a radar warning receiver system. Not to mention that it could also be equipped with decoy flares. As we've said, Dassault Aviation is still very much in business. The company is working on the fourth generation of jet fighters, new business jets, and lots of new aircraft. Really, the baby of Marcel Dassault didn't just survive World War II and the Cold War. The designs made at this company are still popular all over the world. So, tell us please, what are your favorite aircraft made by Dassault Aviation? Tell us in the comments below. We're waiting.